guys for today's tip I'm going to talk about working with format painters so quite a few programs offer some form of a format painter and I'm going to talk specifically about Excel Word and Google Docs so I have an Excel doc open here it's a dashboard and let's say I want to apply this formatting here to this row here now I could go through all the steps select the orange select the white etc but it's much easier just to select the cell or cells with the format that I want to apply and then click this format painter and then I can just paint the new cells with that format now alternatively if I had slightly different formats in each of these columns I could actually take this whole row here or I'll go with this row here. So here I have conditional formatting applied in this column and this column. So you can use the Format Painter for more than just like straight formatting. It also works for conditional formatting for both Excel and Google Sheets. But if I wanted to apply all three, or f excuse me, four of these formats, so this cell here has conditional formatting, this has conditional formatting, this does not, and this is just plain text, I could select all four columns, click the Format Painter, and then apply it across this entire data range. And now you'll see all of the formatting applied. Also, let's say you have a particular format that you want to apply across multiple cells or ranges. If you select the cell that you want to apply the formatting for and double click on the format painter then you can select more than one cell so that's pretty convenient and then to turn it off you just click it again it works the same way in Word so let's say I wanted to take this formatting here which I'm using the heading 3 and apply it to, to this text here where I'm using the heading 4 I could just select anywhere and just apply the format. So very, very convenient. And last up, let me show you how it works in a Google spreadsheet. So here, let's say I wanted to apply, uh, let me just get, get a few and turn off the formatting. So we'll just make this white and black text. So let's say I wanted to apply this here. It works the same way. Now, this actually used to be a paintbrush, but Microsoft must have complained because at some point they changed it to a roller. But it works the same way. The only difference is you can't double click on this. So you have to select the cell that you want to use and then click the Format Painter and Rinse and Repeat. But it works the same way pretty much. We Now I have a comment in here, so it's kind of getting in the way. So I'll just come over here start here and go over so there you go definitely format painters are a huge time saver you should use them and look for them in whatever app you're working in